Wow, thanks for joining us. I just got out of a massage. Thanks oh. for being patient. Are you, are you still in the masseuse's room? <laughs> massage hair. No, it was my friend Talia healing me. Oh, okay. Are you healed now? Hi, Talia. Yeah, I'm fully healed oh, now. Dear oh, dear Lord. <laughs> This is, uh, yeah. This is Welcome to the Ship It Show. Hey, there. Go, Sites. His pants are falling down. Are they? Are they shipping? Nice abs. Yeah. Woo! All right, okay. With Greg and Tara, when he shows up. The ship it shows. Okay. I like it, Seth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, Greg. The ship it shows. Yay! I want to know what happens Woo! when his thing goes dark. That's what I want to know. No, you don't. No, you don't. Trust me. You don't, you don't want to know that. You guys, I'm so excited. We are doing a Powerpuff Girls reunion with my girls, Kathy Cavadini, E.G. Daly. I'm so excited to see you guys. We've been wanting to do this episode for a really, really long time. It's such a beloved show. I mean, I'm sure you guys still get so much love at cons. We'll get into that in a minute. But first, please introduce yourself and tell everybody where they can find you on social media. Kathy, go first. Oh, uh, I'm Catherine Cavadini, and you can find me on CatherineCavadini.com. I don't even know my social media. I think it's at Cat Cavadini and Kathy Cavadini for Instagram. I'm do you want to look it up real quick, and we'll do each first? Like that. Well, Wait, it's, on, it's, a, it's actually on my website. So if they go to CatherineCavadini.com, okay, we'll we'll pull up we'll pull up a little Chiron. Yeah, E.g., yeah. what is your social handles? Mine are thanks to Tara, because Tara, when I had no clue how to use Twitter or any of that, she was like, you got to get on Twitter, get on Facebook. <laughs> and so she created mine, which is real EG Daily. Mm -hmm. So it's real EG Daily on Facebook. I'm sorry, no, it's EG Daily on Facebook, but it's real EG Daily on Insta and real EG Daily on TikTok and real EG Daily on Twitter. Thanks to Miss Tari, Missy Pants. Over I like, I like forcing people onto social media. It's fun. It is good. Yeah, it's fine. I, you're the, one of the first people I knew in voiceover that had a, a website. Who? T Tara. Oh. Yeah. I need to update yeah. that too. I need to update yeah. it. There's like always something new with technology that, that you have there to do. There really is. <laughs> Speaking of technology, do you guys remember when we started Powerpuff Girls? I want to go into your origin stories with the show, but it just popped in my head. Do you remember the storyboards we used to get? I still <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a waste of paper. Because I have freaking still have some of those. Wow. Those are probably, we should do an auction for charity with those. I feel like we should sign them. and uh, Totally. Yeah. Totally. I mean, I them for a reason, but, but I was like, I don't feel like I can sell. I don't want to sell, you know, but you know, they're not even really mine, but they're so, they were so cool. And like, I bet people would love seeing those. Right. They literally hand yeah. you every single every moment. Time. Yeah. So that we, sorry, Greg, Greg's getting dressed. Um, <laughs> they'll probably get undressed soon, but we would be able to see the action so that we knew what our character would be doing. And now, of course, everything's digital and we can often watch it during the show, which is kind of fun and saving trees. Or you don't even see the Wait, did you just say, sorry, Greg's getting dressed? Yeah, but that is okay. so funny. He'll, he's just distracted. He'll take it off. He won't like that or he'll change or whatever. <laughs> um, oh my God, that's hilarious. He's going to order, he's gonna order food and eat a sandwich in a minute. Um, he's probably already ordered food. Um, <laughs> okay, I want to hear you guys' origin story into the world of girls. Each one of you start us off. How do you know? Okay, honey. So, uh, first of all, uh, like you and probably Catherine, we both got the, we got these auditions, or I got this audition to go to Hannibal and do this audition. And yeah, remember? And and it was kind of like quiet at that point, anyway. It was kind of going getting quieter over there. But I remember just going in and reading for uh, uh, reading for these roles. I can't remember like all the details now, but I think were we all together? Or were we all together? No. Okay, no. So I just put it in red, and you know, we don't know, we don't ever know anything. Because in those characters, they weren't even that specific about which character was which voice or anything. Nothing was really set in stone. I think you were just looking for different textures and qualities of different voices that would work for these characters. So that was, I remember just going in and doing whatever I do with 
Buttercup, who sounds like this. And I don't even think she sounded like this at first. I think they sort of tuned her in. She might have just sounded like this, and then they tuned her into this. So that's kind of it. And then next thing you know is like, yeah, we're, I think we had a, yeah, I think years later, right? Years later, they say they want to bring up that show. And then I think Craig was there and Craig McCracken and we all. First we did the pilot. Yeah, well, we did the pilot, right. And I think they were testing our voices out then. Like they didn't, they still didn't know. Which I don't know, you know, and then that person, I don't know if I should say who it was, but um, that person was really big at the time and, and they thought she had too many shows. And the funny thing is that they hired Tara who ended up having like 16 shows. So, you know, so, but that was their reasoning why they, they changed. That's what I heard. Why they oh, interesting. Their voice out, you know, um, so it's, it's quite. I don't remember that, but I just remember them not knowing really which of us was which character and just sort of trying our voices and then landing on you're the little, you know, you're the more, you know, your character, the blossom is the more organized or whatever. And she's the Tara's leader, the, man. She's yeah, the she's leader. the leader. And Tara, you are the cutie bubble head. I'm the and, cutest. And yeah. yeah, you are the cutest. And Buttercup is a little feisty. So there. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly. my my experience. That's all I remember. And I just I, remember that it took like seven years from doing the pilot to we actually, some many, many years before I they actually. I didn't know it was that long. And thank God, because I wasn't in LA yet. So no, I didn't even I audition for just, the first one. Yeah. No, you yeah. kind of arrived. And um. Yeah, so so we so we went to Hanna Barbera to audition for the first thing. I remember like all the usual suspects were there. Nancy Cartwright, you know, everybody big was there. Yeah, and and it, I really miss that because we don't do that anymore. We don't get to go in. We don't get to talk to the casting director anymore. We don't meet the creator. I think Craig was even there. I remember him. He was like sitting on the floor in the corner, and he looked like he. I think he must have been eighteen or nineteen. He was, yeah. he was really young and very shy. He was really yeah. young, yeah, really quiet. You're like, this guy wrote this show? Yeah, yeah, and then we we did the the pilot, which was really fun, I remember. You can't touch boobs through the screen. Is that what you're trying to do, Greg? Yeah, he's trying to grab Ruby. I know he's doing, he's talking to Ruby right now. Ruby! <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Uh, and then yeah. it was like, a, it was like a, at least a year or two later, because I remember when I got the call from my agent, I was I was pregnant. I'd just gotten pregnant with Alice, and um, I was in my uh, blue Jeep with the top down, and my agent called, and they go, hey, you got you got a, a new animated series, and I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, you remember that show you did, that little show? I'm like, you mean the meat show? The one that was all about meat? <laughs> <laughs> right, because it was the originally called show. the Whoop Ass Girls, right? When you auditioned, wasn't it originally it called, called the Whoop Ass Girls? Yeah. yeah. And then they were going to call it the Powder Puff Girls, which right. got, got thrown out. But but a lot of people make the mistake and still call it the Powder Puff Yeah, they do. People yeah. I know really well. Yeah, like, all the time. You should know, you should know oh, it's not. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I love that so much. And, and you know, even in the first, I remember my audition too, also at Hanna-Barbera, also with Craig, who wasn't oh, sitting in the yeah. corner, but he was kind of shy. Yeah. And I just remember them telling me, like, we want her to be so, like, adorable, like, you can't stand it. Like You nailed it. Absolutely. Nailed it. Cute, nailed cute, it. <laughs> and she was. She was so cute. The drawings were so cute. I loved yeah. how unique yeah. the animation style was. I loved that it was a show empowering young girls and friends of young girls. I loved how, like, stoned the storylines were like i mean we were being chased by broccoli i mean yeah. when you say like it's about me like i just loved how like crazy and mystical and fun and brave and probably before it's time although it had a really really nice success i mean yeah we, we, i mean every kid had the backpack right every, yeah every oh my god so much yeah. more yeah, I still have it. Um, One of the biggest shows of all time, Powerpuff Girls. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's because of you girls. Yeah. Yeah. We know. We know. We know. Not those imposters. <laughs> well, listen, listen, no hate to the new girls. They they don't know um, really the backstory. And probably if I had just come to town and I, I had that audition, I'd probably do it too. But 100%. I think, I think the backstory is uh, way more hurtful than we even have admitted in the past. I mean, first of all, let's look at the reboot included all the men from the show, but not us. That's not great. What That's the not heck great. Is that? 
Yeah, mm-hmm. and also I do believe that, you know, Greg, we've been very lucky with Teen Titans. We've been together for over 20 years, and even in its new completely iteration, it's the same cast that all love each other that helped bring these characters to life. And mm-hmm. I think Hollywood doesn't get this, but fans get this, that when yeah. there's a collaborative process of creating a character that speaks to people, the fans love that person in that role. And it sure. was a very stupid move to not I, – I think if they had all of us, the show would still be going. Well, yeah, I think the ratings, it's kind of, yeah. the ratings speak for themselves. Like the, yeah. our Titans cast is one of the reasons why we're the number one show on Cartoon Network and have been for a long time. And when Powerpuff Girls was, was you all, it was like rivaling. Teen Titans yeah, Powerpuff. I liken it to the when moment they, the, the moment they recasted it, then uh, just, you know they, they never reached, you know, no. it never happened. Because but I kind of I look magic. at it. This yeah, magic. I look at it as I look at it as it's like if you have a mom, right, and then she's your mom. And then one day, after a few years, uh, they change your mom. And then they're like, oh, we changed your mom. And then the kids are like, what? Like, what the heck? You know, like, that's my mom. What, what happened to my mom's voice? Like, it's literally for a kid. It's kind of that jarring to change something that much. I and think. also, just, not just for the kids, for the adult fans. Like, now when Greg and I go to cons, we have fans that are our age, older, with kids younger. They're all generally, yeah. generationally enjoying these shows. Yeah. And I think it would have been really smart and nostalgic for fans of the show who are now parents to say, oh, my God, I watched this when I was a kid. Look at it. 100%. And also, we are all very healthy, young, gorgeous talented like well able you want to tell them you want to show them that you can still do the voice let's just show the world that we can still do voice voice. listen mojo jojo i'm gonna whoop your hiney how are you girls doing not so fast mojo jojo i'm just as tough as blossom and buttercup i'm hardcore and then we and then we have to do love ready open your eyes and look at what the world has to see look at all the colors red yellow blue and green Everyone's got a special song deep inside your heart. If you want, you can sing with me. It's the perfect place to start because la 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 it's just because Zoom, Zoom's got a delay. We still got it. We still got it. That sounded great. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Greg. Um, great. Well, it was, it, and the other thing was the chemistry that we had. Of I course. Mean, because we all got to record together, which also oh. doesn't happen as much. Do you guys record together now? No, except for mm, Titans. No. We do Titans together on Zoom. That's because I felt like that was another reason why that show was so amazing. Well, yeah, it's just like Rugrats now, like they brought back the original babies. And so people wanted to see that. That was the biggest, most exciting part. You know, people want to see the. But anyway, no. Anyway, onward and forward, because, you know, whatever, everybody tries things. I mean, what they should try to do is reboot it with OG, get Craig McCracken back in there. Also, how do you do that show without Craig McCracken? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. First of all, Craig visualized this show in school. He was in college. I tried yeah. to get him on the show. He's too shy for. He's too shy for. Oh, no. But he created this show. He had a vision, and it was very sweet. His tweet when he's like, "These were the ingredients chosen." And I love that. He needed a picture of us. It was really yeah. supportive, and to support right back, it hit. It's his baby. He, um, his brainchild behind it, his creativity, his genius. <laughs> they should never have relaunched it without him. They should have made a crazy oh. deal, given him whatever he wanted, and. You know, yeah. done like a real kick-ass reboot. That's oh, just my love- opinion. What the hell do I know? Of course. No, your opinion is super valid. Thanks. Um, but, you know, the other thing that was really cool with him and th- that I was so touched by is that he put us three on in Kid Cosmic as yeah. uh, older versions. That's you know, cool. Like, like an homage to, to oh. us, even though we didn't, we totally did different voices, but, um, and totally different characters but i love that he did that i love that he well, he's, a, he's a good human he really that's what is. most people do when you work together it's like and you see the talent you have and the producers see their talent they they want to bring you in and want to put you in their other shows that's how a lot of our jobs come of yeah. course we, do, we deliver all right so. all right let's i know the fans are going to want to know like your favorite or a funny story that happened during the taping so you can take a minute to think about it and whoever wants to share first can go ahead I know you're going to make fun of me, Tara, because you probably are. What's, what do you your, mean? what's your funny story of being in the studio? Um, okay, I'll make fun of you. So, <laughs> e- 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 
Okay. So EG had a baby, of course, adorable. And she had another baby. Well, she had a first baby during Rugrats, like during the taping. And then the second baby (laughs) she had, you know, right before Powerpuff Girls. And she brought in little Tyson baby. We all, like, what a gift that we could bring our kids to the studios. And they were going to, you know, we'd leave the booth to the nurse, but EG wouldn't. So she'd put her baby on her boob. And, you know, in case you don't know, babies don't nurse quietly. And so, you know, Kathy's trying to do her line. And we hear... The little baby, like you know, that little cute noise that babies make when they're happy, and we'd be like, Okay, we're gonna redo that. (laughs) So adorable, so adorable. But they're like, and they didn't like know how to say, Um, each we can hear your child (laughs) suckling, you know, Um, it's just you know, (laughs) life and life and family and work, it has to go together. That was my care. Because they were really cool about us coming. Because you know, my husband brought Alice, and yeah, you know, I nursed outside of the booth, just like Tara did. (laughs) But still, it was it was cool because that was terrible. I did when I first had my baby. You know, I just I didn't do any of the work for about six months because I wanted to be with my baby, and and that job afforded that for me, which was so awesome because we we usually worked what two to four hours, something like that. It was yeah. I I remember them being a pretty full four hour session. Yeah, it was full. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you know, mostly Mojo Jojo's monologues. <laughs> oh my God, I love when Bubbles got to be Mojo. That was so funny. That, oh, that was such a great episode. That was a great cast. Let's talk about everybody, man. I mean, first of all, um, let's send some love to Tom Kane, who of course had a yeah. stroke. Um, he is gonna uh, record a video or send a message to be um, put in oh, the wow. episode. He was so um, genius and so sweet. And same with Tom Kenny. Mm-hmm. Um, Jim Cummings, D Baker, um, anyone Bill else? Bill Stiller, really, yeah, yeah, Bill Stiller, yeah. Roger, Roger Jackson, Roger Jackson, Roger. Of course. Jennifer Hale, Jen Hale. Um, and there's so many great Kyle, people. Uh, visit us a lot. Yes, she did. A lot of things, and we had a lot of celebs come on, which was really cool. Yeah. Well, it was a hit show. Like, like I said, every kid had the backpack. There's so much merch. It was so much fun. Huge. Yeah. Imagine now if they really did a reboot with um, social media and all the different ways they get. Oh, hi. (laughs) Who is that? Uh, Dog blessed. We're dog blessed. The powder pup girls. Dog blessed. Okay, sorry. (laughs) Powder pup. You guys get to say like a fun or favorite or hilarious story from recording. Well, I was just going to share, you know, just along those lines. When when Mojo had those long monologues, I remember E.G. sitting on the floor. Oh, God, I'm embarrassed. In the splits. Her purse, like, open, going through and organizing her furs. Or doing her nail polish. Everyone's like, what yeah, smells in here? <laughs> oh, E.G.'s doing her nail polish <laughs> in a tiny studio. I would just like my favorite. You know what my favorite She'd thing is? She'd be on the phone. The- She'd be like this. Hello? Yeah, I'm recording right now. <laughs> It's yeah, are you? Are you? Ah, Shut off your phone. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I owe you all a big amends, but I think I no, just you like. Don't. What do you mean? That was comedy. Oh my right? god, life and life. art and living and cleaning your all shit. All goes together. Decluttering while you're working. It's all part of life, right? <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do is clean my purse. So to do that I while know. I'm doing a voiceover session, like two of my favorite things on the planet. I do believe you exercise too. I, like, yeah, I probably did that too. Yoga, stretching, wow, a little stretching. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Kathy. That's what I miss here. about our Teen What's Chinese you? Go sessions. Live. Ruby, like, oh, come the here. Yoga, the yoga in the studio. Oh, oh yeah. I yeah. love that. Well, my husband's a yoga certified AI and girl yoga teacher. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. That's nice. cool. But the other thing that was kind of cool, remember that you were mentioning the scripts, but do you remember that EG's daughter, she would just have them color on? <laughs> They'd be like, did you read it? No, but my kids colored it. You know, one time my daughter, I took her into my agents at the time, it was Natanya's office, our, one of our agents, and I brought her into Natanya's and I would just have them around when I was reading and she loved to have them in her room. And I walked in one day and there was like marker all over her carpet. She's like, oh, yeah, she kind of missed the paper. And I was like, oh God, oh God, I took it too far. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Hell. All Greg, right. Greg's having sex right now. Just, to, just ignore okay. that. Okay. Um, that's hilarious. She drew Greg? on the floor. No, he's having sex. Don't interrupt. Where are you, Greg? He's having sex. Leave him alone. Greg. Um, he's shipping. Greg. He's shipping on the shipping show. Uh, on the shipping. Show. Did you just? Did you just numb out? Where are you? Healing. <laughs> you guys know. You know, guys know. Thanks to Tara, Greg was my boyfriend for a year. I loved him. Sweetie pie. I really was 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Since it is the Ship It show, let's talk about shipping. <laughs> And he's not, he's not even I here. Dated Greg, but I did guest on your. He was my show. boyfriend, Greg. He was such a good boyfriend. So he sweet. was. Tell us why he was a good he's boyfriend. Great. Yeah. Well, he was just cozy. Like when you'd sleep at his house, he had the best comforters, and he was by the beach, and everything was cozy, and he had all these great green plants everywhere, and it's everything you would imagine. Plus, he's just super snuggly, and he's very like giving, and there's a lot of beautiful things when about Greg. Giving, Are you listening, Greg? When you say giving, in all mean, the ways you're thinking. Oh, <laughs> very, a very special yeah. R-rated ship it show. Um, <laughs> just, wow. just very sweet and very, very good guy. Very good, sweet boyfriend. Wow, I love that. I did set you guys up. It was yeah. my fault. Yeah, I was so mad at you. You were like, I'm going to set you up with somebody. And I'm like, no, Tara, no. How old is he? And you're like, don't worry about it. Just don't worry. I'm like, no, Tara, how old is he? And you're like, and she said, just meet him. Just meet him really quick. So I'm like annoyed. And one day I couldn't leave because I had my daughters there. So I said, well, you can come by tonight, I guess. I'm going to be home all night. So I open the door. There's a knock on the door. I open the door. And who's sitting there, like squatted down with his knees with a baseball hat on backwards, looking up at me at the door going, hey, what's up? And I was just like, no. Like, oh, I want to date that. I was like, I'm going to kill Tara. Tara, <laughs> I'm going to whoop your hiney. And then I was like, what is she doing sending me an 18-year-old? I was like, this is not okay. And then... <laughs> He walked in. Yeah, it was crazy. He walked in with a, a PS, case of- PS viewers, he was not 18. PS viewers. No, he wasn't. He just looked really young, but he was yeah, a hell of a lot younger than me. He walked in with a red stripe six pack of a beer. And I was like, I don't even drink beer, but I'm so mad right now. I'll have <laughs> red stripe. And some about that red stripe and Greg sitting next to me. And the next thing you know, was like, whatever. I don't know. I can't what, go Wait, there. you guys hooked up the first day you met? No, but there was a definitely, there was definitely some kind of connect. There was a, there was definitely a, I don't know how much I can say on this damn show. What? Say whatever much... the fuck you want on this show. He put a beer on my, put a, I remember I was sitting down and he put, a, I was sitting, lying kind of back on the couch. He put a beer on my lower belly. He tapped it on the bottom of my lower belly. And I was like, I'm in trouble. And that was it. I don't know. <laughs> I so guys, trouble. if you really want to get in EG's pants, just put a beer on her belly. That's what we've learned. <laughs> Signature move by Greg. And he was really sweet. Was that guy is right smooth. Here. Where is he, Greg? What are you doing what right now? What happens when we put a soda on your belly? And <laughs> it doesn't work. This is my favorite uh, drink. You guys need to sponsor me, Zevia. I love it. Is it is a soda without aspartame, and I love it very much. I don't need to. I do too. Thanks to um, you. I love that story, and it is the Ship It Show, so we should be talking about shit like that. Oh, we, okay. We also had, um, like, have you guys looked online and seen, like, art of ships from our show? Like, they definitely like to play with the Rowdy Rough Boys, which is kind of fun. I love them. Yeah, but they have you guys so seen cute. anything like that? Yeah, really cute. I mean, I'm sure there's not cute, but were we don't want to look at that. Hustle? Who were the Rowdy Rough Boys? I'm forgetting who they all were. Was it oh no! Oh. It yeah, was... I thought Tom. I thought Tom Kinney. Uh, Tom Kinney did one of them, right? Okay, we should know Jeff, this. I know it was Jeff yeah. Bennett. I, I thought oh. he at least two of them. Okay, we're not going to put this on the show. Edit this out. Okay, I'm going to look it up. There you go. We don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. I think it was. Um, oh, here we go. Rowdy Rough Boys. Do <laughs> do the power of date them. The Rowdy Rough Boys, voiced by Rob Paulson, Roger L. Jackson. Rob Paulson did Boomer and Brick, and Roger did Butch. There you what go. Did I think, why did I think Bennett did? What did Bennett do? I don't know. He's not on here, though. It says voiced by Ruby. Come here. No eating kitty litter. Stop it. Come here. She's eating kitty litter? Yeah, they have this like salty, weird kitty litter and they get it in the, under their lip and then their lip gets stuck. And I'm like, what's up going on with you? And then I see there's one in her lip right now. Hmm. Oh my God, what's happening here? Okay, get over well, here. He, he was Ace. Wasn't Ace one of the Rowdy Rough Boys? Oh no, Gang Green Gang. Gang one Green. Of the Gang Green Gang. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Ace Grubber, oh, Big Billy, <laughs> Pickle Captain, <laughs> Pickle Lord. Um, that's the other thing too is no. we had so many versatile actors on the show. So many. Oh, did we lose Kathy? Now we no. Kathy. What? What happened? I don't see Kathy or Greg right now. Greg, what were you doing? Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Greg, Greg. Everything was dying. My phone's dying. My computer's. Oh, okay, got it. I'm back. Are you alive? You missed EG talking about sex with you. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Let's recap. 
I was telling her how you came over and you were sitting in my door, slouched down, like squatted down with a backwards baseball cap with a six pack of red stripe. And I was like, so mad at Tara. I was like, why is she setting up with an 18 year old? Why? Why is this happening? And then you came in and then we hung out. And then the next thing you did, you took the red stripe beer and you tapped it on my lower belly. And I was like, I'm in trouble. <laughs> is that your move? Like you just throw a beer can on a chick and then. It was not like that. It was just very strategic. It just took the top, the beer, the bottle, and he tapped it on my lower belly. And I was like, the hell's happening? Is that, is that, that, that the move? Is that the, I need to know. Is that the signature sites move? I mean, I don't drink, I don't drink anymore. So. <laughs> That's so, so you, funny. Just put a so you put a soda can on their bellies. Like, how do you get one? No, the soda can wouldn't work. It was after I drank a red stripe and then he tapped the beer on my belly and I was like, oh shit, I'm in trouble. And then the next thing I was like my boyfriend for how long? Greg? Like a year. Yeah. It was so nice. It was sweet. I love you, EG, forever, mm. forever, forever. I love you too, Becky. <laughs> yeah, wow. that, that was so cool how Tara hooked us up. I know. I know. It was really cool. Kathy, are you back Hi. with us? Yeah, yeah. I had a little All right, time. Kathy, what's your story? What's your funny? What was your? I already was telling it. Oh yeah, duh. You told me. You know. All right, your turn. Each. Turn. <laughs> Mine. Yeah. I mean, I don't know because I was always the naughty one doing all the bad things in the session. <laughs> um, but you, Tar, you always check emails too. I was the only one. Yeah. Oh no, I was no, no. I one. was a troublemaker. We always got in trouble. The truth is, in those sessions, EG and I got in so much trouble. So much trouble. Kathy trouble. was always well behaved. It was actually just like the Powerpuff Girls. It was just Kathy like was it. was like a Perfect. little troublemaker. I was like the adorable <laughs> ha ha, egging her on and laughing. And then Kathy was really well behaved. It was so perfect. She really was the leader, keeping us in line. Like she really was. Yeah. You guys, there was a time when you were riffing like you were on the Jerry Springer show. <laughs> yeah, that probably that happened too. That's all recorded. Oh yeah, my it's God. All, if, yeah, Robert, it was all recorded. If Robert ever releases all those behind the scenes, Ruby, so much trouble. I remember we used to like rewrite the theme song. We'd be like, Bubbles, her crabs are wicked and itchy. Buttercup, yeah. she takes it in the bum booty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we would get very creative. Yeah, um, yeah right, that was Greg, fun. Greg, do you know the theme song from the Powerpuff Girls? He looks very no. Good. Do you know the Powerpuff Girls? La no, he doesn't know the show. That's so bad. That Greg, have you know. ever seen an episode of the Powerpuff Girls? I've seen clips. <laughs> I've seen clips. I love it. Do you know what it's about? Yeah, actually. What's it about? Remember, we they they brought the Teen Titans Go characters in to try to make the the new one better, and you know, so uh, you know, I know a little bit about the Powerpuff Girls, but. They're not the Powerpuff Girls that you girls. So that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I just thought the superhero a team of superhero girls that are kick ass, and they're super cute. Yeah, and super like cute. a trillion dollars worth of merch. Oh, Powerpuff yeah. Girls everywhere. It's like remember, a phenomenon. Yeah. Yeah, I remember driving phenomenon. Victory Boulevard and seeing um, those big. What are those things that people whack at parties? Oh my God! There's a cute kitty. Keep talking. Sorry, I got distracted. We're so distracted. Animal. Oh, the, the, the little, what do are, what are they call those? Those things that people whack with a put. Catherine, you're low. Your volume's low. My volume's low, huh? She sounds fine. You're just deaf. Eh? She sounds fine. She sounds fine. <laughs> you sound fine, Kathy. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, anyhow, um, but, you know, they have those, those, you know, tons of toys and fucking Pinatas, that's what they're called. Pinatas. Oh, pinatas. Yeah. Everything. There's a Powerpuff Girls everything. Everything. Like, yeah, and it's still really a big hit. Um, you guys want to share some con stories that were touching or funny? I'm sure you see them every con. Um, someone cosplaying or telling you how important the show was to them. You guys want to share any about that? Well, I, one of the, the, the last ones I did, you know, Tom was at, um, Tom Kane with us, which was amazing. I remember the 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 flight home like eg me and tom were on the same flight and i got to sit with him and it was just so yeah cool. like being with I think jim yeah. cummings was on that flight yeah so it just was you know yeah it was so yeah i love that you know, I, I really feel like that pre that was so precious that i got that time with him because you know we, we hadn't seen each other forever and i feel like every time you see each other it's like no time has passed you know and um and it, it was just so like i don't really like doing yeah. without you guys but i'll do them with you <laughs> Well, it is really fun when we're all together. It's yeah, really fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. And that one yeah. in particular, I think it was a Lex. It, it really is. When's the last time you all did a con together? I just, and I, like, 
two and a half. Years. It's been a while, right? It's been a while. I don't even know where it was. Longer than two and a half because there was COVID for two years and it was way I before that. Comic-Con, so I think it was two and a half or three years ago. At least- wow, right? Well, first of all, we know all the cons got held up because of COVID, of course. Yeah. And people are still getting con- uh, COVID at cons. Didn't you get COVID at a con, Sipes? Every time. Yeah. <laughs> Every time? For real? How many times you had it? I've had it like three times. I've had it like five times at least. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. (laughs) Like for real, like diagnosed, it was said positive to five times. (laughs) That's funny. I I know what, like what's happening. So you go to a condo, they let you wear, you have to just be out exposed to No, no, you can wear a mask. And if you're nervous, they'll put a glass part, not glass, but like a plexiglass partition. I'm not nervous about it, but I do think it's still out there a lot. And I don't want to get my parents when I go see yeah them. everybody I get that. had to be um, supposedly vaccinated and we had to wear masks but you know when we mm-hmm. were taking pictures I just took mine off because I thought okay it's just, it's just weird I don't know <laughs> I know I feel yeah, bad too if it is weird for a picture and like half your face is hidden it's kind of silly yeah, well, yeah so it's so um so weird how about you? Yeah, Age, you got a favorite con story of meeting a I mean, Puff fan? I love. Do you guys remember just, the picture I took? I don't know if you guys have seen them, but there was there have been a few families where the dad's the professor. Oh, I love it. And the girls oh, I love it. So cute. Yeah. Oh, I, I just it. posted something yesterday. I think what did I post? Uh, just like I mean, this is one of so many really freaking cute. I'm gonna pull it up because it's cute. But like, just cute, just uh, just so cute. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. I think I just posted it yesterday, which is so weird. And um, not, not even remember. Oh, did it not even come up? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Tick tock. Tick tock. Here we go. Um, but like, it's just fun. Like these girls really come fully committed. And I don't know if you could. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Watch this. Yay. I say, which one? Oh, Echo, you got. Which one is. Hey, there you are. I see which one is the buttercup. They were just adorable, oh, these girls. You know, just cute. It was it's cute. Just... It's such a good feel. Greg, do you have um, a stupid question you want to ask the girls? Yes. What? E.G. Catherine, what? ship, marry, kill someone from the Powerpuff Girls show as your character. So as your character? Okay, so who do you want your character to be in relationship with? Who do you want your character to marry? And who do you want your character to kill? Wow. When it could it be anywhere with any win realm? Like go ahead, Kath- Catherine, you go first. It should, be on, the, it should be on the show. Ship it show. I mean to on the uh, Power Puff Girls. Blossom would want to be in relationship with Miss Bellum. Ooh. Wow. Okay, okay. Um, wow. Who do I want to marry? Wait, wait, is that ship? Yeah. Is that a ship? Yeah, you're just okay, gonna make out with Bellum. Okay. I think she would probably marry um. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think who she would marry. <laughs> oh gosh. I think she would marry Mojo. Whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> personally, that's my favorite character. If you're waiting Ever. for him to change, sister, don't. He's never going to change. <laughs> um, plus, he's kind of like this mastermind kind of. I don't know. I think she might dig marrying him. They okay. It would, would be good evening. I don't know if we'd still all hang out, but uh, who are you going to kill? <laughs> Um, who would I like to kill? Princess Marbux. <laughs> okay, good, good call. Good yeah. call. Each wow. Oh my God. You got to go, Tara. Because I have you done that? You got to go. <laughs> have I done it with Powerpuff Girls? Okay. Yeah. You do it first. Uh, I need to think about it. I need to think about it. Mm, who would I make? Yeah, that is a good question. Who would I ship? It's way too much for my brain to process. I think, <laughs> I think she, wait. Which one of the Rowdy Rough was her little? We should have to make out with her Rowdy Rough partner. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. One of the Rowdy Rough boys. Uh, but which one yeah, was like the blue one? Us with the Rowdy Rough boys, but I just didn't yeah. want to be obvious. Yeah, but you have to. Be obvious? No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Um, okay, we'll edit this out so that we look like we know what we're talking about. The, oh, they have nicknames. The jerks, the big dummies, children. Wow, they had a few up. They had a really few, good few episodes. Okay, they were Boomer. Ugh. Uh, okay, Boomer. Okay, okay, that's Bubbles equi- equivalent. So mine was Boomer. E.g., if you want to do yours, your equivalent. 
was Butch. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to ship Boomer because it's always fun to like make out with the bad guy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to marry. What would I marry? <laughs> Not the mayor. Um, <laughs> that was so funny when Bubbles got to be the mayor. That was so funny. <laughs> you, you, used to have, you used to have a lot of fun impersonating the mayor, too. That was really fun and sexy. Oh, well, where is your well off? I'm not going to marry him. Oh, he's girls. He's terrifying. He's terrifying. Yeah. He's terrifying. But he's marry one of the girls. He did a good Philistine. My sister? Should I marry my sister? Is that a good idea, Greg? Uh, I didn't know you were sisters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought you were Powerpuff Girl friends. We're made out of a, a test tube, right? In a lab. That's so different. Test tube sisters. Genetically sisters. Well, that's different than popping out of a mom's well, sisters. You marry your sister in that case. It's right? still my sister, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think logically. Like logically, you wouldn't have weird Powerpuff like one ear and one one thumb or whatever they had those. <laughs> Right. Listen, <laughs> nobody's having sex with our sisters. Okay, we're not no. doing that. <laughs> um, who would I marry? You're right. This is tough. Okay, okay, wait, wait. It's wait, too wait. tough. Okay, My wait, brain wait. No, can't no, wrap no, around. No, no, no. no wait, wait, marry wait. him. No way. No way. <laughs> He's too scary, though. We no. always freak out when he, he was him scary. And what him is who I would want to make out with. Him. Ew, crazy. Really? Yeah, because. Yeah, because I appreciate all genders, and I just want to embrace the whole thing. There you go. I I identify with dog. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we're not going to marry fuzzy lumpkins that we're not going to do that although no. we might have a nice house one day we're not going to do that really why would he have a nice house <laughs> get off of my property oh yeah <laughs> property. yeah 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 he was funny i can't imagine like things, right Did it's just kind of tough to imagine them grown right it is it's kind of like a mind bender it's like that yeah. time that you do remember when they asked us like to make a band name of all of our characters and for me like all my characters are like from here to i mean just all over the place. yeah there's no way i could no I way get my mind to like make any sense of that <laughs> no i can't it's all beyond me you guys should know they may ask me questions like that me <laughs> No literal questions. No, nothing too thinking. You're gonna nothing. marry. You're gonna marry Miss Keen, and you're gonna live a nice, quiet life in the country. Me? Yeah. yeah we, can we can open up the concept together. broader for you. E.g., you could be ship, marry, kill anybody in any fandom. Oh, there you wow, go. Wow, there you go. Oh, wow. for her. Yeah. As your Powerpuff Girl. Wow, oh, I love that. I think it'd be really cool for Buttercup to marry Tommy Pickles. There you go. Wow, you just marry yourself. You just love yourself. Congratulations. I mean, yeah, I do. I have a lot of self. <laughs> I have a lot of self love. Ooh, <laughs> maybe we'd make out with Sedusa. She was pretty hot. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right, that's the extent of my. Okay, I'm gonna make out with Sedusa. I'm gonna marry. I'm gonna marry Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill your husband. I'm gonna kill your husband. I don't know who I'd kill. I can't imagine even thinking about killing anything. So that's my answer. I don't like killing either. We don't like killing. I don't like that I question. Him up. Sorry, Grace. Sorry. Friends, sorry. not food. Friends, not food. Well, we don't kill animals, that's for sure. But I would kill Mojo if he was being a bad monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. What about toys? Did you guys get a lot of toys? Did you keep a lot of stuff? I didn't. I just, I, um, I just, you know, found that backpack in my garage. I was just going through it, <laughs> the power puff. And I was like, I should give this away. I just, I don't need it. You know, like I, I don't, I don't, don't give it away. You autograph it for charity. Yeah. 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 That's what I mean. Yeah. 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 yeah, I, yeah. Mean, I should, I should do something like that. And also, um, you teach. Let's talk a little bit about that because yeah, I, I really despise nefarious teachers and people that are like out to make money off voiceover hopefuls. And I always tell people about your class and I tell people about Excuse other me. reputable people because there are so many people just waiting to take money from people promising them work and pay people paying to audition. And it's so gross. And you really are oh, one of the yeah, few... Terrible who are teaching that I would send to because you know what you're doing. You've maintained a successful career for decades. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about your process and teaching and where people can well, find I it? Well, started, I started teaching because people started calling me to, to coach them. And um, 
So like, and some of them were my friends, like peers of mine. And I, um, I, I just realized that I really loved it. I, 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 especially, I don't work with people who don't have any acting training. Um, ah, interesting. I, I really feel like, first of all, that's the first step. You have to be an actor to be a, a good voice a- actor and you're not going to get hired. So, you know, like the first step is take a acting class, like, it, you know, um, and then you can move on from there. But, um, but if you don't have that as a basic skill set, um, you're just not going to get hired, you know? So, so that's how I started was I, I started coaching and then, um, I was kind of scared to do a workshop, but one of my friends called me for coaching because she had sent her commercial demo to, um, to an agent and they said, Hey, um, we'd love for you to, why don't you bring in 10 to 12 characters, um, live for us. And, and, and I had heard so many times people going into our agent, Natanya at DPN saying, Hey, I'm in the commercial, you know, they're in the commercial department. They'd be like, Hey, I I really want to get in the animation department. What do I do? And she'd be like, come and read 10 to 12 characters for me. And, um, back, and I could just see their faces fall as they walked out of the room. Like, how the fuck am I going to do that? So my friend I had worked with for years and I knew that she had it in her. So I said, we can do this. We had a week to do it. We worked on all our characters. We created, you know, characters from, you know, um, things that I knew that she could do and, you know, different archetypes, you know, and she went and nailed it, got the agent and she's worked ever since. So amazing. So I mm. thought, you know, there's no class for this. Like there needs to be a class where people can actually train for what you need to get an agent and what you need to then go the next step and, and do your, your demo because there's, and, and so many people, and that's another pet peeve of mine too, Tara is people charge like $3,000 for a right. demo for somebody that has no, they're, they're just not ready to make a demo yet. Ugh, they don't so have mad. enough voices and they haven't really, you know, they don't know how to really make distinct character choices yet. Yeah. And so then they're spending all this money on this demo that if they did send it to an agent, the agent's going to be like, no. And then, you know, so, so anyway, so that's why I created the class was for Love a that. space where actors can create those characters and you know not everybody like everybody gets somewhere they get 10 to 12 characters at the end they start to understand by the end of the class because I also I do six classes and then I do and I also do like different things like I teach audition technique in one I teach about you know how interactive game characters are totally different and do like a breaths and efforts yells thing with them because that's what you do at the end of every you know, interactive game. And, you know, I do different aspects of the business so that they kind of get, they get not just, you know, they get kind of the full, what I love that about, you know, how, yeah. how to become a professional. That is what a class should be so that you, because so much of this business is confidence. And if you don't have the confidence, you're going to fail. You might not get another chance. So you're building people up so that they're ready by the time they go in. I love that yeah. so much. You're right. like the only class <clears throat> I really like. There's you and a couple others, I think, that I really tell people to do because otherwise yeah. it's just a waste of money. Tell everybody where they can find yeah. it. I know you're booked up. It's very hard to get in with her. CatherineCavadini.com. But you know, I brought in like D. Bradley Baker has an amazing blog. Agreed. And yeah. He does it for free. For free. For free. And yeah. literally, if you read anyone, like I even read it, like, you know, I get stuff out of it. He, it, it's that, like, if you don't have any money, go and read his blog. Yeah. <laughs> I tell people that at cons all the time. So, yeah. And then um, Phil Lamar came and taught with me because I lost my voice once. <laughs> oh, no. And he came in and taught beside me and, you know, was my voice and he was so great and it was so so I've had different people come in Colette Sunderman came in once and and taught with awesome me. um so um but but anyway so so but I'm really really about like I don't want to have a forever student my whole goal is to get yeah just to to the point where they can self-direct and be on their own and maybe right. they come back for an important audition to coach with me once or maybe they never come back and just bo- start booking I, I don't I don't want to f- like that's not my goal is to have full-time you know I love that because it's not really even like I'm not doing it for the money you know so no. I love that. I love that. That's beautiful. Thank you, Tara. um, No, no, it's really important. I get so mad. And every time we go to a con, Greg, E.G., Kathy, at the the panel, how do you get into voiceover? How do you do that? And, you know, um, I really get angry when people pay $10,000 between classes and demo and they're taking advantage of hopefuls and it's not right. I don't like it. it. Listen, I did a, um, for that exact reason, I filmed in front of a live audience 
a two hour and 15 minute voiceover seminar where I basically just broke it down. I gave them, uh, I did PowerPoints and I had lists of all the top voiceover demos and all the top like casting people and all the top agents. And I literally just listed everything with contacts. And then I gave them all the tips, tools and the how to's. And I told them we did some stuff where we played with, with um, copy. And then I also had guest speakers. I had Jeff Danis and I had um, uh, goofy um, Bill Farmer come in as a guest, but that's all I did. All I did was I laid everything out in this live filmed filmed and it's up on Amazon. And that's all I did. I didn't want to do like, I'm going to teach every week. I didn't want, I didn't want, all I wanted to do is give people all the information they asked me for right away and say, here, it's all on this one thing. So they can just go to Amazon and you can rent it for nothing, you know, like, I don't know, 15, $19, or you can buy it, but it's really inexpensive. And it's all the information that I gathered up and a bunch of other life tool stuff that's on it about the journey of voiceover too. So it's even bigger than just learning just the voiceover stuff. It, it, goes into but again the whole point of that was so that it wasn't like me trying to take money from people it's like here's all this yeah. information you got in one so shot so good so good oh cool yeah. when i taught tara how to voice act it was like a it was like a <laughs> yeah the thing Wondering, she, like after teen titans that something changed in her no i'm just kidding <laughs> you guys know that she teen, needed... Tit- teen titans was greg's first job Really? Also, I very, 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 very we green. Very, young. very I remember, green, I yeah. <laughs> I love to make that joke. Oldie, but a goodie. Oh, you are, yeah, that's awesome. That's it was his good. first show ever. I love that. I uh, love that. And now and he's he, still now, doing it. And then he was your coach on, on his show. On right, his now show. I learn everything I know. Like, thank God for Greg. I wouldn't show up at anything on time. I wouldn't. <laughs> I would be having sex sure. when, you're on, when you're on mute and your camera's down. I think Tara there is a lot of work, so I definitely deserve the credit. So thank you. <laughs> and it's really all due to Oh my God. So funny. So no, funny. You know what I love about voiceover actors is they they are, I, I think, first of all, I, I would not let tell anybody ever, like I would I always say, take a class from somebody who actually does it. Right. You know, there's classes they ch- they charge like three or four thousand dollars and no. then- insane and listen to these these things and you can't learn it that way you have to learn by doing it you know yeah you to learn by feeling it and and going through the process of of it so i don't know it just really that that kind of thing drives me crazy you know these these companies that have this it's it's just kind of like a money churning thing right no it's yeah. all to make money off people it's just yeah, it's not nice i don't like it i don't I like it so no. thank you for doing what you do it's it's a real service that you're doing for people like there has to be a place to go for people who are professional actors like you said you only get people that are already working in the business and i think that's really smart well, they're and not then, all working. Some of them are. Or at least I have some acting experience. They have an acting they're background. They're actors and they have acting experience. Right. A, lot of, a lot of my students have come from SC because I have a friend who teaches there who's been. Uh, oh, okay. Been yeah, on a serious cool. note, I love I love teaching. You learn so much about it's true. everything when you when you teach. You become a better actor when you teach. What do you, what do you teach, Greg? I've been doing an improv class for a couple of years. I did it almost every week in LA for oh, the whole wow for a while and I'm about to start an improv class in New York. Oh, so cool. Starting That's awesome. Next week. That is I cool. Look, I have like an emotional meditative improv class, right? I developed these kind of these techniques, these tools to really connect. And then you can really see when you implement these tools, the difference between somebody actually really doing some work to bring these, to bring like reality to, to their acting or just some bullshit acting. I love that. It was yeah. so experiential, which is, I think you have to, you have to experience, right? You have to experience what that means, what that means to be fully invested emotionally. In- well, and also uh, improv, I always tell all hopefuls to take improv classes because that Me helps too. you learn on and how to create characters like on the go. Like how many times have we all been in sessions and are like, oh, can you just do this character? Can you just mm-hmm. do that character? And once you've gone through improv, you're less afraid. Like, oh, I can jump in and do that. And I can jump in. I always tell people that. That's and it's like a muscle. It's like a yes. muscle. It is. It really is. It really yeah. is. So, Greg, I'll give you points for that. Thank you. I guess. you and I think help. singers, singers are great. Singers know how to contort their voice. Absolutely. There's that whole other element. We all sing. We've all yeah. done on camera. We've all done yeah. all kinds of stuff. All those things go into the pile. And I think singing lessons is still important even when you already have a career because it's a muscle. So Developing. you can yeah. expand your range. You can keep, you know, it's all, I mean, I sing all the time on my shows. Don't you guys? It's like so fun yeah. to sing in character. Yes. I love that so much. Okay, before we go, I want to know, separate of Powerpuff Girls, because I know people are going to want to know, What's your favorite role you've ever done other than Powerpuff Girls? 
You ready? Uh, it's um, on Broken Ages. I played a, a, girl, a lady named Carl. Carl. It's Carol. Uh, with the vowel missing for reasons that are just too stupid to remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, and it's probably nobody knows. Where was she from? Little, um, she's from a cloud place, a cloud. <laughs> What's the show? Cloud Village. It's not a show, it's a game. Uh, What's broken. a game? What's yeah, the game yeah. called? Broken Ages. Oh, Broken Ages. Okay, good, good, oh, yeah. good. Okay. Uh, good, 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 good. EG? I mean, oh, there's wow. two. I mean, I, of course, I love doing Tommy Pickles because he's so sweet and great, but uh, that's a nut, that's given. But I think I'd have to say Baby Mumble and Happy Feet, the features, oh. because he was so cute. It was a baby penguin who was just like, Mumble, feet, feet, Mumble, feet, 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 happy paw. Like, he was just so cute and tiny. So I liked him, and I also played a little character in something. I don't remember what show it was. Or her name was, she was Germ Girl. And so she was this hot, sexy germ girl. And then when people came around her, she kissed them and infected them with a cold. I just thought that was so funny. Anyways, oh, I love so, that. Yeah, she I just really came up with a new show actually called The Super Spreaders. And they're, just, <laughs> and they're spreading love. I love it. That's Why good. Why are you talking about that live on the show? People are going to steal it's, it. It's okay. I'm, it's, it's happening. Okay. It's happening. All right. All right. You guys, this has been such a treat. I really miss you guys. I found it. Up close well, and personal go. voiceover. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, we, we can um, we can um, share anything you want to share right now um, on your uh, – I can't speak. Share anything that you want to <laughs> – any, share anything you want to promote right now or that you have anything coming up or any charities you love. And once again, where we can find you on social media. Now's the time to do that. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> You, uh, Kathy, I have did you figure out your out social I handle? Okay, I, I think at my Twitter is at Kat Cavadini. I think that's true. And I think my Instagram is just Kathy Cavadini, or maybe it's there you Kat go. Cavadini. I don't know. I yeah, you are at Cavadini. you are at Kat Cavadini on Twitter. You are oh. at Kat Cavadini. You're verified, so everybody can find you there. Yeah, I did get verified. I heard some people had trouble getting themselves verified. Yeah, it happened. Like, it's so ridiculous. I've you know have you gotten like weird things from from like i get something from somebody saying they're you right and oh I'm yeah not you because that's I weird he ignored that person but um but i don't like that like somebody trying to pose as somebody else oh my god happens all the time when happens i happens all the time I, I was gonna i was gonna meet up with fake batman there was a fake guy who was verified saying he was catfish Connor. batman yeah saying he was oh, verified scary. he had a blue check mark saying he was oh Kevin my god Connor. and we were texting each other and planning to meet and up we were texting as that's terrible oh. Yeah, and then I emailed him saying it's been so fun catching up with him on Twitter. He's like, I'm not on Twitter. I'm like, what? Uh, and so then I forced him on Twitter and got the other guy out of there. Okay. That's um, crazy. That's yeah. really crazy. EG, oh, and is there anything you want to promote, Kathy, or shows coming up or charities that um, you like? I mean, I do I do so many. Um, right now I'm doing a lot of dubbing on Netflix and stuff like Ooh. that. So I've got like a show called Lust that I'm, that I'm in that's kind of cool. Um I have a game coming up that, of course, I can't say, but it's coming out this summer. It's a vampire-y game. Um, a gay character uh, with a Boston accent in there. And I love nice. that. Um, nice. I'm always doing a lot of looping and stuff like that. Yeah, like that we stuff. haven't even touched in on the Ship It Show. That's a whole other world when you get into loop groups and yeah. and ADR records and group sessions. It's, it's a really for, great gig. My day job. The great thing is about that is that it's that's how you keep that's how I keep my muscle going because it's all improv. Right. So, and it's, um, you know, you're constantly just, you don't know what you're going to do until the, at the moment and um, you see it once and you do it. Um, so it kind of keeps you fresh, you know. I love that. I love that. And so if you're as well, you know, I feel yeah. like this makes me better. You know, Absolutely. Well. So if you're interested, if you've taken an acting class and you're interested in voiceover, please check out Kathy Cavadini's. It's KatherineCavadini.com. EG, your turn. Hi, honey. Okay. Um, uh, what am I working on? Oh, okay. So I have this movie out called that's coming out in the summer called The Blonde Experiment. It's coming out. I don't know exact month, but somewhere in the next couple of months. It's called The Blonde Experiment. I play a pop star social media influencer. It's really fun and really campy. It's going to be great. And then there's, of course, Rugrats, all the Rugrat reboots happening. We're on season two. Is Season two hasn't been released yet, but we just finished season two, which is exciting. Got some other stuff I'm doing that I can't say yet. But... Um, and then I released We Got the Beat, which is a really fun single uh, Go-Go's cover that's on a Go-Go's tribute album. And there's a video. Everything's on egdaily.com. The voiceover seminar is up close and personal voiceover seminar with EG Daily. 
And then there's also Listen Closely, One Woman Autobiographical Musical, and that's it. You know, just every day, just trying to enjoy the day and just trying to bring my life into work because that's what makes me the most happy is living life while I'm doing work. Instead of just obsessing about work, I try to be balanced and enjoy, you know, my kids and my animals and do lots of foster work for all kinds of different. I know, just, you still have that little foster puppy? No, I just turned him in yesterday. He's doing great. Oh, we had a foster cute. puppy that was near death and anemic and blood work said he should have been dead but he's doing great and he's I took the cutest picture of me and Tar and I love it I want to see if I can so cute. oh my god he's We're all so such big animal lovers on this show. we yeah. really are um, oh my god I do have this picture but I, I won't show yours because I didn't get approval from you yet but that's Tar's dogs and the puppy and <laughs> no. both Tars oh. and I, I don't want to post any post any pictures oh, of you Tar unless you approve but Tar was actually in a lot of those pictures and she looks yeah. so cute oh bless <laughs> Yeah. And, and you're real EG Daily across all your. I'm real EG across the board. And Facebook is just EG Daily. You'll find me. And you can say hi. And you can, yeah, say hi. I, whatever. I love that. And I really appreciate, appreciate you guys taking this trip down memory lane because it really was such a very special, Great magical, show. exciting time for us. We were so happy and so grateful. And, you know, there aren't many shows like that where it's like a magical cast that just takes off and takes over the world. And, Took over the world. Saved the, the world, world. people are saving the world. You guys laugh. And I laugh. Wait, 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 and it does <laughs> guys <laughs> well that's a good screenshot put your heart up let me see how do you take a screenshot on the computer who knows how to do that i do, do you do? have to do it you have to okay. i won't be able to do it because i'm holding my hand okay you guys do it oh no we can do it in the edit oh yeah, oh, yeah. So cute. Greg, Thank love you, you. Nice to see you, honey. Oh, you guys, you girls. You can get back to your <laughs> massage. Yes. Yeah. I do love you, Kathy. Bye. Bye, Tara. Love you, honey. Bye.